Hey there and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Have you ever noticed the spoiler effect in Telegram messages? It's a cool feature that keeps content hidden until you tap on it to reveal the message. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome effect in Flutter. If you're curious about how it's done, stick around until the end. I promise you will learn how to implement it in less than 200 seconds. This feature is not only easy to implement but also incredibly useful in various app development scenarios. Imagine adding it to your chat apps, dating apps, or any other app where you want to add a layer of interactivity and suspense. So what exactly are we building today? We'll create a simple app with a text displayed at the center of the screen. When you tap on the text, the spoiler effect kicks in and revealing the hidden message. Tap again and it switches back to the default text. I've kept this example straightforward for easy learning. But once you grasp the core concepts, you can customize this effect to fit any of your your app's needs. This tutorial is designed to be accessible. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just getting started with Flutter, by the end you will have a nifty little feature to add to your toolkit, making your app more engaging and fun for users. Let's dive in and get it started. Alright, to get it started, I have a blank scaffold with a center widget as its child, and I have added some horizontal padding to give it space from the left and right. Inside the center widget, I am using the repaint boundary widget. This widget widget helps improve performance by creating a separate display list for its child which is useful if the child needs to repaint at different times than the rest of the widget tree. Next, we will use the spoiler text widget. You need to give it a string for its text parameter, which is a required. Make sure to add the spoiler widget package in your PubSpec.yaml file and run Flutter PubGit to include it in your project. Then import it in your file and you can start using it. All right, as you can see, the text is too small. So let's style it with a bigger font size and a different color to make it more visible on the screen. Great! Now to see the spoiler effect, set the enabled parameter to true and refresh the app. This will apply a simple spoiler effect to the text we created. And to toggle between showing the simple text and the spoiler effect, set the enable gesture parameter to true. This lets you tap on the text to switch between the two states. It's perfect so far. Let's customize it a bit more. By setting the particle color parameter, you can change the color of the spoiler effect. If you want to change the density of the particles in the animation, you can adjust the particle density parameter, which takes a double value. The default is set to 20, but let's try different values to see how it works. For changing the particle sizes, use the max particle size parameter. These control the maximum size of the particles in the animation. In the meanwhile, this widget is super customizable, so play around with these parameters to find your preferred settings. Additionally, to change the speed of the particles, set a double value to the speed of particles parameter. Finally, to add a fade animation effect, set the fade animation parameter to true. You can also adjust the radius of the fade effect using the fade radius parameter. And that's it! I hope you find these helpful. You can use this awesome package in your Flutter app to make it shine. Make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Until next time, happy coding and bye!